In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a savings calculator in C. So a savings calculator generally accepts some initial balance, some rate of return, an annual contribution, or sometimes a monthly contribution, and a total number of years, or a total number of months. And the goal of the savings calculator is to ultimately calculate the total amount that's going to be saved when that amount of money is saved over that amount of time with that rate of return. Now there's different variations on it. We'll create a savings calculator that's going to have an initial balance, a rate of return, an annual contribution, and a total number of years. And we'll actually output a table that's going to show the effect of that rate of return and that annual contribution on an annual basis. So the first thing we have to do is accept values for the balance, the rate of return, the annual contribution, and the total years. So we'll create variables to store those things. We'll say double balance is equal to zero. Double rate of return is equal to zero. Double annual contribution is equal to zero. And int total years is equal to zero. So next we're gonna ask the user to enter these values. And we'll put a bit of a title here. We'll say printf one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll say savings calculator one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and slash n slash n, just to give it a bit of a nice title here. So we'll ask the user to enter the balance. We'll say printf initial deposit, we'll call it. And then we'll store what's entered into the balance variable there. So we'll say scanf lf, because it's a double, and balance. Now, the only thing is it's not gonna make any sense if the user enters an initial deposit that's negative. Even the number zero would make sense, but a negative number makes no sense for an initial deposit. So we'll actually do some input validation here for this input and the rest of them as well, just to make sure the numbers are gonna make sense for what our saving calculator is trying to do. So let's actually put a do while loop around this here. We'll say do, and we'll say while, the balance is less than zero. So if they enter a balance that's less than zero, we're gonna warn them here. We'll say if balance is less than zero, printf initial deposit must be greater than or equal to 0, 0.00. So we'll tell them what was wrong with their input. And then this while loop is gonna cause them to have to enter it again. And we'll have very similar logic for the rate of return, annual contribution, and total years as well. So because the logic is so similar, I'm actually just going to copy and paste this rather than rewriting the entire thing from scratch. So I'll copy and paste this here. And next we'll ask for an annual contribution. So we'll say annual contribution here. And we'll store this into the annual contribution variable. If the annual contribution is less than zero, that's not going to make any sense either. So we'll say annual contribution must be greater than or equal to zero. And we'll do this so long as the annual contribution is less than zero. And we're going to have a very similar thing again for the years to grow and for the rate of return. So here we'll say rate of return. And we'll store this into the rate of return variable. We'll have the same checks here for when rate of return is less than zero. And here we'll say rate of return must be greater than or equal to zero again. And then one more time for the years. Now years is going to be an integer. So it's slightly different here. Here we'll say years to grow. And we'll use percent %d here. And then we'll say here, total years. And for total years, we're also not gonna allow a value of zero either. It's gotta be at least one year. So here we're gonna change it to less than or equal to zero is when we're gonna warn them. And we'll say years must be greater than zero because it makes no sense to have an investment calculator for zero years of growth, right? Okay, so now that we've got all the values we need to actually create the table of savings calculations, let's work on that table next. And let's actually create a nice table that's gonna have columns with a fixed width. 
and we'll have some headings as well. So here I'll say printf, and these are gonna be our columns here. I'll say slash n to start a new line, percent 10 s. So a 10 character width column, percent 18 s, so an 18 character width column, percent 16 s, percent 16 s again, and then a slash n. And what I'll do is in the first column, I'm gonna have the heading year. In the second column, I'm gonna have the heading start balance for the start balance of that year. The third column is gonna be interest for the interest earned that year, and then end balance for the total end balance for that year. All right, and then under these headings, I'm gonna have a row of stars just to make it clear that they're headings. So I'll make a loop to actually make these stars. I'll say four int i is equal to zero. i is less than, I'll say 60. Because if we add up all these here, 10, 18, 16, 16, we're gonna get 60. And I'll say i plus plus here. And we'll do a printf and we'll output a star. So 60 stars. And then we'll output a new line character. And that's gonna be our headings created. Now we're gonna create a loop that's actually gonna perform the savings calculation for each year from year one up until the total years. So it'll look like this. We'll say four int year is equal to one. Year is less than or equal to the total number of years, years plus plus. So we're gonna go from year one all the way up to and including the total years. So we'll say here, printf percent 10 D percent 18 dot two F. And then we'll have year and balance. So this percent 10 D that's going to create a 10 character width field. And we're going to output the year into that 10 character width field. So we're always going to keep this first field that we're outputting here at 10 characters. And we do the same thing here. When we actually create the heading here for year. And the balance, we're doing a very similar thing. We're outputting it into an 18 character width field. Same thing here. When we created the heading for start balance, it's an 18 character width field as well. So by continuing to do this, we're gonna have these nicely aligned columns. Now this dot two here is gonna make it so that the balance outputs with two decimal digits of precision, as opposed to some ugly looking number like 122.459834 we really only care about how many cents it is anyways. So dot two giving us that two decimal digits of precision is gonna make sense. Now, once we've output the current year and the start balance, we're gonna to wanna to calculate the interest and the new balance. So here we'll say double interest is equal to, and it's gonna be the current balance times the rate of return divided by 100. And that'll give us the interest earned for that year and then the new balance is going to be the current balance plus the interest earned plus the annual contribution. So we'll say balance plus equals, and we'll add the interest and the annual contribution. Now we can output the interest earned this year as well as the end balance. So here we'll say printf percent 16.2f and percent 16.2f slash n and we'll output the interest and the balance. So we're doing a very similar thing here with the field widths to maintain our columns. And again, we're using the dot two to give us two decimal digits of precision. We also put a new line character on the end of this row because we're at the end of the row and we're gonna want the next series of output to start on the next row. And then finally, we'll just end with a new line character as well. So if we save this now and try to compile it, there might be some compilation errors. It's hard to believe we've written all this code with no mistakes, but we'll see. So we can see right away there is an error here. I use the variable name years instead of year. Let's scroll up and see if there's any other errors. And it looks like I misspelled balance. So we'll just fix this. I'll put balance here instead. So now we'll save it and run it and hopefully it'll work now. And it looks like it's gonna work now. So here we've got savings calculator, initial deposit. We'll put in, let's say 10,000. Annual contribution, we'll say 1,000. Rate of return, we'll say 7.25. And 
and then years to grow, we'll say 20. Now, if you see the output here, we have this nice looking table that takes our initial deposit as the start balance, calculates the interest, and we can see the calculation is correct here. And then it adds that interest to the annual contribution to give us the end balance. And then it just continues to follow that sequence of calculations for each year. And we can actually see the effect of 20 years of saving money with this annual contribution and this interest rate. So this is how we can create a savings calculator in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.